that would be great. <sighs> yes, that messed our, uh, our tire up a little bit. Pushed it up through the hood. That's where we saw it on the inside of the car. And we're like, all right. All right, all right, I am back. Um, so, I haven't been able to get videos out because I had unfortunately broken my, uh, my boom mic mount. And anytime that I was trying to get video uh, on the desk, there would be that nasty force feedback rattle um, because there's just no way that I could get it where it would stay completely still and actually uh, work the way I needed it to. Um, but I got my new boom mic mount and uh, it's working absolutely perfect. This is the, uh, the Arca Chevy Impala, the Arca Menard series uh, Chevy Impala. Um, a ton of fun. The car is a ton of fun. You'll definitely see that it has so much more power than these uh, these street stock cars. And let's actually take it out there. This is the Lucas Oil track, which is the uh, the current race track for the Arca series. I have never raced this track before. I've driven on this track. I really don't know how fast you can go through the corners, um, but in a second, I'm going to, uh, it's, it's weird right now, I got this weird spot on my left eye. I'm going to, uh, to hop out and show you my new skin that I'm going to be running gear from, uh, from now on. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet, and, uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely, uh, definitely cool. I think maybe this is the third. Grape up there. Let's uh, let's hit the pits now, and let me uh, let me back out and show you uh, show you the skin on this car. I mean, this car. So the the, the Impala is super loose um, and has a ton of power. I think it is one of the uh, the highest power cars raced. Um, like not raced. That's not true, but um, it is one of the highest powered. There's something about it. Something I was reading where I was like. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, these uh, it's it's got a ton of power. I mean, this re it looks like a stock car. It looks like a, like an NASCAR uh, stock car. And I finally get one of the cool pit crews, which I'm pretty pumped about. Uh, but let me uh, let me back this out and uh, and show you exactly what this uh, what this skin looks like. Get a good. Uh, there I am. Helmet. Oh, I got one of those, uh, those things for the weather too. Not the weather. This isn't a good. It is. Ugh, it's not a good. Not a good shot here. Pause this quick. Try to get. A Wake better up. One. Get going. Yeah. So this is not a good. Uh, a not a good picture. Or look of it. But it is the. Uh, it's the SpaceX car. On the hood. Um, yeah. Absolutely awesome. Awesome. Awesome car. Uh, I saw the skin and I was I wanted to make my own and you know maybe I do in the future, but I was like I have to I have to run this one. It's the uh, yeah SpaceX NASA uh, 64. It's just a number that I have on there. I don't know. It's I think I'm probably gonna stick with the 69. That's my that's my number. Um, but yeah, no, it's a, it's a pretty sweet car. So now I'm gonna get out here a little bit more and spin a couple laps. Uh, it is just a practice, so I'm not gonna run you know a 30 minute video. But just to get out and, and get some laps on this track and um, try to get a, a better feel for the car. I really haven't touched it since I uh, I first got my D-Class license. So it's going to be a pretty new thing. I mean, you can, you can already see the power difference between these cars. Between these cars and the, uh, the street stock. I mean, it's just night and day. 
on this short track, I'm, I'm getting up to pretty, pretty high speeds. Not a big fan of the short tracks. Definitely not a not a big fan. I understand the reason for them, obviously. Uh, you can't go wide open. It's it's more about you know car control and stuff like that. But I also really haven't taken this out onto a Daytona or somewhere where you can really hold it, you know. Open. But I think that you know once I get these lines figured out here and the braking and all of that. Really, I don't know. This I'm following this racing line, and that's that might be a little problematic because you know I don't know if that's where you want to if you want to go that high. I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. What makes sense to me, from my limited racing knowledge, is probably holding like this right here. Go in, boom. You can hold the mid line, or I don't know. The low line does not look like it's going to be. Let's hop down there and see. So. Yeah, there's no way that you can hold that thing down there. You you have to use a little bit of the thing and smack the ball. It's the thing about these cars is you can touch the wall a little bit and still be fine. You know, not a Formula One car or Indy car. As soon as that tire touches the wall, it just kaboom, just explodes and just. Sends everything gone, ruins your whole race. Um, I have raced a little bit of IndyCar. Not so much recently, but it's the Lara Dash series. I don't know if that's what it's still called. A ton of fun. IndyCars are, are awesome. If you're into oval track stuff, uh, IndyCars are definitely uh, definitely the way to go as far as oval go. See, I, I have a feeling I'm, I'm running this super, super slow. And I'm kind of curious to see in practice what they do. So, you know, I think uh, I might hop into a, into a practice or or see what's going on with that. Um, maybe not today. Uh, that might be a tomorrow thing. This is just a, a kind of a filler, uh, trying to give you a, a good look at this car and, and what I got going for me this next series. I might also drop back down to, to street stock as well as uh, try some other other uh, racing types around the road a little bit, no, that is so out of my element, um, I'm just not, I'm not good with the whole shifting a, a billion times to, um, yeah, corners, stuff like that, I mean, yeah, I don't want to say Formula One, because that's probably the most difficult of the roads, like, racing, um, but, yeah, Formula One is kind of what I've been playing around with in high racing, and I just I can't get it. But, you know, other other road racing events, um, like, uh, or even dirt, you know, I, I would love to, to get good at late models, and uh, I just don't want, you know, I would rather focus on, on one skill and master that skill than, than race everything and be mediocre at everything, or, you know, be average at everything. I'd like to excel in the uh, in oval uh, asphalt. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling this car a lot more. It's one of those things where you just drive a little bit more. This is the first time I say that, and then I immediately hit the wall, right? It's one of those things where uh, I've never raced this track before, but you start to figure out. <laughs> I say that I can't. I just can't say I figured out anything anymore. How about we just leave it at? It's the first time I've done this track, and uh, I'm starting to learn as I as I drive it. I guess you could say quirks, some of its uh, things. And I'd like to think I got a little bit faster. But it is definitely a third gear track. There's no, uh... Oh, look at that. That was sweet. Sweet. Oh. 
one thing I haven't also done either is uh, some burnouts. So let's just uh, let's practice for victory lane quick. We'll go back to the start finish. And we're gonna do a little victory lane over. Well, victory lane. Kind of, not really. Victory lane somewhere else, but I'm not talking about this in the infield area here. Uh, let's uh. That didn't work. Try to do that. Ugh. What we're trying to do is, is drive up to the start finish, but we just can't manage that. There we go. Sweet. It's a sweet little track. I would love to do uh, Indy cars on this, actually. I think that would be. Cool. You can see just the, the power that it has in first gear, and I know a lot of cars have that. Keep the car straight. That and my tires are probably pretty, pretty bad. And then hopping to dirt in the grass. All right, I think. Uh, I think that what we need to do is we need to wreck this thing now. I think we need to do a, a bad wreck really see what this thing looks like when it's getting hit hard. It says the car is toast. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Look at this. We are turning. Let's ride this wall and then just shoot out. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a tire right there. It's not a Hoosier. It is a good year, which is uh, different than the street stock because we're racing Hoosiers. I don't like that. Oh, so the the new spare. Let's throw it right in there. You can't turn. We're just uh, on a one-way street. Let's see if we can get around this track. Pick up speed, just folks like a like a model train. That's uh, that's enough of that. Uh, Cause that'd get pretty boring. Oh, yeah, slam that hook back down. You never drive reverse. Get back there. So close. No way. We're almost there. Okay, let's uh. 
What is going on? I want to see what this car looks like. Alright, that is enough of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm probably going to put a little bit at the end um, of what this car actually looks like because I'm curious to see. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. The uh, my transmission just blow up. Yeah, <laughs> transmission's gone. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Um, I don't know how soon it's going to be till I actually hop in in races in this. I have to get a lot more comfortable with this car. But I'm excited. It's a fast car. And with this new SpaceX uh, paint scheme, um, I think that we're going to be pretty fast. So thank you guys again for watching. Don't know how many times I've said that, but uh, I will see you next time.